You're watching the House of Wellness where today we're investigating how to get a great night's sleep. Now I know that Rach is a big fan, Heinz, that you have the blue light blocker glasses. Yep, wears them night. religiously. Yes, it's supposed to combat technology. Gus, you do breakfast radio. How do you go getting to bed at night? Very hard because I want to go to bed at 8 o'clock and that's all when the good stuff starts. <laughs> and three teenage children, noisy, so much going on so I need to do the across the eyes and I've got to put them in the ears, the earplugs and I've just got to sit there and just hope that I go to sleep, otherwise I'm up and about and that's no good for me. No, it's no good at all. Well, technology is so addictive it can get in the way of a good night's sleep, but it can also come in handy as a useful aid to combat snoring. Vanessa, you can help us with this. Look, we know snoring gets in the way of a good night's sleep, particularly for the people around you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's no good. Uh, there was an economist who was trying to get his head around getting the data around snoring so that he could solve the problem. And he came up with Snore Lab. It was the beginning of the app in this space. It inspired a whole lot of other apps, but Snore Lab is the first and it will track when you're snoring and give you the feedback on the sort of quality of sleep that you're getting. And it's a little bit more reliable than the wife telling you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I keep track, trust me. Um, what about Snore Control? Look, Snore Control tried to do something a little bit different. It was going to tell you what sort of level of snoring you were doing, but also try and intervene. So like wriggle well, like, or have a you. noise. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope, right? yeah, that's kind of a taser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give you those little nudges and maybe take you out of the deep sleep enough to notice that you're snoring and then you could reset, change your position, go back to sleep again. Okay, well, uh, the thing about what happens in our nighttime habits is that we're blissfully unaware because mm. we're asleep. We've spoken about snoring. What about talking in our mm. sleep, Gar? Mm, I have full on, <laughs> full on conversations. Really? How deep and do oh. secrets come out? Yeah, <laughs> apparently, like, it's the next morning, it's the text going, I wonder who that person was. Oh, oh. Why were you groaning and all that stuff? Oh. I go seriously deep and quite sort of detailed in my, in all of my dreams. So I've been doing that for quite a while and sleepwalking as well. Really? I nearly you rolled do it my, all. I do. Literally, I'm a full package. <laughs> <laughs> if you sleep with me, you're going to get more action with me wandering around without you than actually any action in the bed. <laughs> well, interesting around half of kids between the ages of three and ten carry on whole conversations during the night and that figure drops to about 5% as we get older. So, Vanessa, how can we find out if we talk in our sleep and more importantly, how do we know what we say? Well, uh, I love this topic. My baby brother was one of these people. I could interrogate him ah! and be like, what do you feel like for breakfast in the morning? And he'd start telling me and I'd magically wake wow. up and he would think that I was a mind reader. Wow. I really felt like that. Sleep Talk Recorder is the app that you want to try if you've got that sort of sleep talker around you because we know that people can be hilarious at that stage and just no filter and ridiculous, you know, dream-inspired conversations. Why wouldn't we want to record it? Now, Vanessa, uh, people love oversharing these days and some of the funny <laughs> things that people have shared online include things like lentils are evil <laughs> and vampire <laughs> guinea pigs we're done for we're done for <laughs> Right. What the absolute is going on? <laughs> I mean, what else have people shared and recorded? I think most of the delightful things are very surreal and, you know, people talking about real people but in ridiculous yes. situations. And it's like, why is Keanu in their dream again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so wonderful because oh. is it our unconscious trying to tell us something? Mm -hmm. There's yeah. so much to uncover. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Next, we hear the remarkable story of how Dr Michael Mosley put his diabetes into to remission, but first Zoe flips the dish on a French favourite.